Hello everyone, welcome from Frankfurt am Main, Germany to the comparison between one of the most famous Canon focal lengths. Today we have a look at this one here, that's the brand new Canon RF 50mm f1.8 and we compare this 220 buckle lens with this beast here, that is the Canon RF 50mm uh, 1.2L lens for about 2500 bucks here in Germany, not everywhere on this planet where you pay such high tax. So why do we compare these two lenses with each other? Well, in terms of weight, they make a lot of difference in terms of space they make a lot of difference and probably the most important uh, topic about these two lenses that we need to take in, into consideration is the price well it's like cost like about 10 times more than this one here and you get an aperture of f1.2 versus 1.8 maybe you don't have the money that you can spend on this lens Maybe you only have the money for this lens. And that's why we are testing these lenses. Maybe we'll find out in this review that this lens here is much better than this one here. And you don't need to spend 10 times more on a lens. And it will be great. Or we'll find out that this lens is super sharp and you need to take more money into your hands to buy this one. We will figure that out in this video. All the links are listed in the video description below. Thanks to everyone who supported me for this video. If you have any question, please make sure to leave a comment below and make sure to follow me on Telegram as well. Thank you very much and let's roll it. The first thing that stands out, of course, is the size. The RF 50mm 1.2 is considerably larger, can hardly be gripped with one hand and weighs just under 950 grams. At just under 2500 bucks it is almost 10 times more expensive than the RF 50mm 1.8 STM version which fits in any camera bag and costs only 230 bucks. At 160 grams you don't notice anything about the lens. If you want to support my channel feel free to purchase one of the two lenses, the memory card or even the camera via the link provided in the video description. You can find many sample files at the bottom of the video description. On the RF 50mm 1.8 pretty much everything is cheaper. You only need a 43mm filter and for the 50mm 1.2 a 77mm filter. Both have an RF ring. With it you can change the ISO aperture or shutter speed. The ring also serves as a focus ring for the cheap version. Just change the position of the switch at the side. Neither of the lenses has an image stabilizer. This has a significant impact on your recordings in video mode using the EOS R without an integrated IS and with a 4K crop. This looks much better using the 5-axis integrated image stabilizer of the Canon EOS R5. Dark edges cannot be overlooked at an open aperture. You have to stop down the aperture considerably with the 1.8 version up to about f4 to see nothing more of that. That's the same with the 1.2 version. Moving on to sharpness. I haven't had a single RF lens that wasn't sharp on its focus point until now. So are these two. The 50mm 1.2 is sharp in the center, even at 1.2. Towards the edges the sharpness then diminishes a bit. Or you can't see the edges due to the dark edges. I mean the vignetting. The 50mm 1.8 is also super sharp in the center. Here too the sharpness only decreases towards the edges. If you look closely, you might think you see more details with the 1.2 version. 
Whether that is really the case, you can decide as well. You can find the sample files in the video description. Please make sure to leave a comment afterwards. Since I can call the 50mm 1.2 my own, I have to say that it's not always the fastest, but it's not slow either. When shooting, the focus is super snappy as long as it's not too dark. The 50mm 1.8 was also super snappy, plus there are significantly fewer parts to move around the lens. The eye autofocus is just top notch with both lenses. When filming, the camera occasionally took a few moments longer to find the focus. I would even go so far to say that the 1.2 version took a millisecond longer. Then ask around, who needs a 50mm? Me, for example. Mostly for festivals, weddings, sometimes club photography, or through I prefer to use a 35mm for that, detail shots, portraits, and now and then for filming. For filming I prefer flexibility and rarely need a 1.2 aperture. Here are some examples that I took with one of these fixed focal lengths. Because it was so nice, I recorded a few more clips for you. Both lenses have a very pronounced lens flare, which you can also take advantage of. For example, at sunsets with your dream girl in front of the camera. The best part as always at the end. The bokeh looks really nice on both lenses. The RF 50mm 1.8 offers you 7 aperture blades and the RF 50mm 1.2 even 10 for even rounder bokeh balls. On the other hand you can get within 30cm of your subject with the 1.8 version and only 40cm with the more expensive version. I personally find the bokeh softer and more beautiful with the 1.2 version. However, if it's down to money, I'd spend 10 times as much just because the bokeh is much nicer. Hmm. Let's come to a conclusion. The advantage of the 50mm 1.2 are obvious. The slightly nicer bokeh, a 1.2 aperture, protected against dust and splash water, and the extra large focus ring. The 50mm 1.8 is significantly cheaper, also has a nice bokeh, fits in any camera bag and weights only 160 grams. The 50mm 1.2 takes up significantly more space, weights almost 1 kilograms, robs you all of your pocket money at once, but there is nothing above it. For the 1.8 version, you still have to buy the lens hood and should be a little careful in the rain. Since I already have the 1.2 version, it's nonsense to tell you which lens I would buy. I love my 50mm, the 1.2 aperture is just absolutely cream. No more pushing the ISO at night, the complete background made unrecognizable and the great portraits, I would not want to miss it. 
If money, weight and space don't matter to you, take the 1.2 version. If you can work with less light, travel a lot and would rather spend your money on an RF70 to 200mm, then get the 1.8 version. Remember to check out the sample photos in the video description. Be sure to follow me on Telegram and Instagram. If you like my work, I will be happy if you buy for example the lens or the memory card via the link in the video description. All the best from Frankfurt and see you very soon. Tschüss!